right? New coding concepts, circular imports. Normally in the examples so far, I've been importing modules using the form from module import class. So you'll see that, for instance, factory client from chair factory import chair factory. And it's like that all through the code examples in the course. But more specifically in the proxy section, I import the line module. So proxy client PY, so proxy client PY from line import line. Now the line module itself also imports leopard and the serpent modules that in turn also re-import the line module again so leopard imports line and serpent imports line now this is a circular import and occurs in some situations where you separate your modules into individual files if you see how i've been doing the concept version of the code i've been usually putting it into one file and then when i demonstrate the use case i usually split them up into separate files okay so circular imports will prevent the python interpreter from compiling your py file into bytecode. So the error will appear like this. You'll see most likely due to a circular import written in the error message. Okay, so to avoid circular imports is you import a module using this form. So just type import module versus from module import class. So import module. And then when you actually go to use the class, you say your object equals module dot class name. So looking at the lion, serpent and leopard classes, for example, if I go to leopard, this is already fixed because I'm importing line and down when I'm using it, I'm saying use line dot line. But before doing this, it would have been from lion import lion. So down here, I would say just use the lion class. Now, if I was to try to compile that by saying Python proxy client.py, I get the circular import error down there. Okay, so the way I fix that is by saying instead import lion, that's the name of the file down here, lion.py, and then down here when I go to use it, I go lion.lion, and that works better. Now that will execute. There we go. Excellent. I mean, we could do the same thing with from interface Proteus import Proteus. So I could say import interface Proteus class leopard interface Proteus i Proteus. Excellent. And it works. Excellent. Avoiding circular imports. In the next section, we start looking at behavioral patterns and we'll look at the command. Excellent.